Well, hello and welcome back to my kitchen this morning. Yeah, I'm I'm a grabbing I'm a grabbing my my jars and I'm gonna put green beans in them this morning. I wouldn't do this video, but some of of my subscribers have asked me just to show how I can my green beans. So I've got my big big canner. That's a vintage all American, and it's on the gas stove back here and I've got the heat on low so it's warming up and now I'm going to swing you around here where I'm working on some other stuff. Over in this big pot I've got my beans a heating because I like to do a uh, hot pack and I've got 14 quarts here because I'm canning my green beans in quarts. I've got some canning salt. Let me give me a teaspoon. I'm a teaspoon and I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in the bottom of each one of these jars. I'm going to do that first. And if you're watching all these videos, which I don't know if you are or not, but I was I broke my beans, I washed my beans. Well, first I growed my beans, picked them, brought them in the house, washed them, and now I've got them in that big pot there heating. And I put my jars through my dishwasher, is what I did with them this morning. I'm going to put some salt in each jar. Cannons, you have to be careful canning, but it's not that hard to do. And through the years, if you get, get your supplies you need, you need big pots, you need to, just need some, some items that make it easier. And as you accumulate them through the years, it gets easier and easier. All right, cut my, cut my salt. Let me move that out of the way. Now these are hot, and I've got a cannon funnel here. Get my cup. And I've had these uh, these old corral cups. They were my first set of dishes. And this, for me, is the perfect thing that I used to dip my beans out of here. So I'm just going to fill them jars up, and I'm hoping I've got 14 quarts. I'm not going to just pack them real tight because I want to make sure. And it says my battery's low. Hang on a second. I'm going to go get my plugger up and plug that up. It. Let me plug you up. And now, now it's in there. All right, now back to filling these jars. And I just guess at it, but I get it about an inch from the top there is what I do. And I'm going to fill two or three of them and then take them across and put them in the canner. Starting to smell like green beans. I think I'm going to turn that off. Let me get reach around here. That's an induction burner that I've got this pot on, and it just kind of gives me more room to work. Get something else. But I've got a thing to just to kind of get the bubbles out of it. And I don't always do that, but I can do sometimes. And I'm not an expert at this. I, I can't. I do a lot of canning, but I learn something new all the time. And you guys can do it and learn something new too. Just follow the the guidelines to make sure it's safe. The low acid foods have to be pressure canned to be safe. That's the opinion of, of just about everybody. 
Now that's off. I'm going to give me a paper towel and wipe the tops of these three. And I've got my flats. And I bought some off-brand flats, so I really don't even know what the brand of these is. I know when it was hard to find them a year or two ago, I ordered some in bulk. And I can't remember what what these are, but they're what I've been using. They feel good and heavy. And I'm just going to do that finger tight. And those, jar, those jars are hot, but I'm going to, before they get, before these rings get hot, I'm going to carry them across to the canner by hand. Now, I, put, I don't know if I can show you both things or not. <laughs> Kinda, there's the, there's the big canner and here's my beans. Let me put the, Put this ring on this one. You're hot. May not be the safest way to do it, but that's the way Rita does it. So don't don't judge me. I do what I do. And if I don't have 14 quarts in here, I've got some more beans broke. And I'll add them at the end if I have to. Play that in the ears, they say. I may want to put a little bit more water in there because I like to have enough water to cover them good. I don't want the beans sticking up out of the, the water. Push them, push them down just a little bit. Give me another jar here to close. I'll get these in there. Oh, I've already been doing this for seven minutes. It's going to take me a while to fill these jars. I don't know if you'll want to be patient enough to watch the whole video. Okay, there's me, there's me three more. Move that funnel over to the next one. And I'm going to wipe the top of them. These will be good this winter when we eat them. Put them the flats on there. Cut the rings. And these are not bright shiny rings because I think they've been used for several years in the jars. The jars are not new jars. It's no telling how many years them jar some of these jars have been used and canned. They're hot. I think I'm going to use this to carry them across. But I'm going over here to the canner. Another one. And at this one. Now I'm going to do one more jar and that'll be that layer in the canner. Get my cup. And I recommend that if you do canning, that you do get you maybe a good canning book with all the written down instructions and the times to run the canner for different vegetables. But you can find some pretty, pretty easy. And you can look on the internet and find all this information. All right, I'm gonna do just this, just this one this time. Look at that. I put that on there without the flat. And I've washed my flats here. They're washed and cleaned up. And I just, talking to you guys, I put the ring on there without the flat. 
Now that's my seven in the first layer. Here goes. Now I'm gonna put this on my can in my canner to separate the two layers and do these other seven jars. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can get these filled up. Then we'll get that thing going like it's, uh, like it's supposed to. My little two-year-old granddaughter was here for a little while this morning. She had helped me break just a few beans. She was having a hard time. Her little fingers wouldn't do it. But she was trying to help Grandma. Finally, after a few minutes, she said, I color. So she went back to her coloring book. So she didn't help me break very many. But she got to see what Grandma was doing. That's it. I'm just... I'm not using the fancy measuring tool. They are probably... Let's see. I, I like to... About that much from the top. About an inch. Let me see. I don't know what questions you might have, and I'm probably not the the person to ask for the official answers. I'm just letting you work with me today. Have green beans. Oh, I'm gonna take that out. That's one of the little a little tail. I'll just put that right there. Don't want it in my beans. Wouldn't hurt a thing. But I cut the tails off and I cut the other end, the stem end off. But all of them. Give them a little bit of a push down there. And I think I'll fill this fourth jar before I stop and wipe them. Well, I'm a missing. There's a little little tail end. I thought I had all that stuff out there. Don't hurt a thing. I'm pretty sure I got all the bugs out. There wasn't any bugs. This was the first pick in the beans, and I'm telling you, they were pretty. As the summer progresses on, if they keep a putting on, they're not near as pretty as the first picking. Ah, that looks pretty close. So I'm going to wipe them. Make sure there's nothing left on the rim of it there because that might keep it from sealing. Another thing, the little granddaughter loves to play with these rings. She had them on her arm today. I had 14 of them out, and she had 14 of them on her little arm. <laughs> they were just fun to play with. They're hot. It kind of burned my fingers as I'm putting the ring on. I'm going to use this to carry them across. I'm going to turn you just a little bit because that's where I'm going with these. Three more jars here to go, and my can will be full. Let's hope that I've got enough. Get my final. Let's 
turn your back around just a bit. That up so I can get them out of the bottom. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a few of those that I broke out of the refrigerator and get that last jar because I think I'm short one quart. I didn't prepare enough, and I'm not going to run that canner unless it's full, and it'll hold, it'll hold one more. So... So, that's one of the little things, little happy little accidents that happen sometimes. You run just a tad short, but I've got more beans. If I didn't have more beans, I would just run it with not completely full. Let me get these put in there. But, I just show you. I don't have enough to fill that last jar, but I've got it ready. My canner's almost ready. I've got a, just a few more beans, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wash these and get them ready and fill this last jar. So that's just what happens, and I'll come back in a little bit on another video and show you the canner putting the lid on the can and getting it ready. But you'll see me after I get this last jar ready.